Hey guys, so I recently got a new GoPro and I thought you guys might be interested. So in this video, we're going to be taking a look at GoPro's latest action camera, the GoPro Hero 4 Session. The GoPro Hero 4 Session is GoPro's latest action camera. It has a smaller design and lower price than the other GoPros, but before you buy it, there are a few things you should know. So I want to start by talking about the most obvious difference when compared to other GoPros, the shape. So unlike all of our previous action cameras which were rectangles, the new redesigned GoPro is shaped like a cube and is all black. Since it's a square, it can be oriented any way you want inside of its mount so that if you say want to side mount it, you're completely free to do so and you don't need any new accessories. Anyway, enough about that, let's get straight to the price. So it recently had a price drop from $400 and is now retailing for just under $300. I feel like this price fits it better considering that the video and photo quality just isn't as good as what you would find on a silver or black edition GoPro. So they definitely made a smart choice lowering the price. And being their cheapest GoPro, it's basically taking the place of GoPro's budget or beginner action camera. Unfortunately, this session is also limited to 1440p, whereas the silver and black edition GoPros can shoot in 4K. However, it makes up for that with its compact squared off body that is 35% lighter and 50% smaller than the other GoPros. Another main selling point is that it's waterproof right out of the box, up to 33 feet, unlike the silver or black edition GoPros, which require a waterproof case. Now when it comes to buttons and ports, it's pretty limited. It has a big record button on top which doubles as an on off button, and on the top next to the record button you have a tiny LCD display that displays your current recording settings. And on the left side you have the door which protects the micro SD card, as well as the micro USB for transferring data and charging the GoPro. And finally, on the back you have a button that allows you to connect the GoPro to your phone. Now to be able to customize the recording settings like resolution or frames per second, you have to have your phone paired with the GoPro app. Once paired with the app, you can customize things like the time lapse speed, the resolution, the frames per second, the ISO, the megapixels, and a ton of other aspects of the GoPro. So if you don't plan on taking your phone with you, just make sure you customize the settings beforehand because without your phone, you aren't able to customize anything. When you hit the power button on top of the GoPro, it turns on and automatically begins to record. When you click it again, it stops recording and shuts off, meaning there is no sleep mode, so it's either on a recording or off. This also helps to conserve battery, and speaking of battery, the battery is non-removable. And I found I get around 2 hours of battery life per charge, however, you may want to plan ahead to avoid finding out it's dead and being stuck while you wait for it to charge. So now finally, one of the most important aspects of a camera, the quality. And this is not exactly one of its strongest points. The quality of the videos and photos is good but not great. I found the images look a bit soft and the colors look a little bit washed out. And overall it's definitely not the best 1440p or even 1080p I've seen on a camera. But don't get me wrong, you can still get some really good videos but they just aren't as crispy and rich as what you would find on a Hero 4 Silver or Black Edition. It also does have the wide angle view everyone loves about GoPros. And when it comes to microphones, the Session has improved underwater microphones which are designed to let water drain out quickly when they get wet and they actually work pretty well which is nice. So in the end the question is who is this GoPro actually for? I mean well pretty much anyone where portability is their number one concern. So if you need to attach it to a pet or you need something small and lightweight or if you plan to attach it on a drone or something like that something where weight really matters then it's definitely worth checking out. It also makes a great beginner GoPro that's simple and easy to use and is also $100 cheaper than the other GoPros. And at the end of the day, the Session is definitely not a bad deal if you're in the market for an action camera that's light and compact, you should definitely consider it. So that's about it guys for this review, let me know what you think in the comments section below, feel free to leave a like and subscribe for more videos. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in my next video.